One of the keys to understanding what happened to the Hunley is to understand how it worked. In its day, the Hunley was state of the art as a submersible vessel and a stealth weapon. The design of the Hunley literally was unique. It's extremely sleek, very hydrodynamic. And for the period that it was made in, it's just really an anomaly. The fish boat, as it was called, used fins or diving planes to submerge and surface. When they were pointed down, oncoming water drove the sub deeper. When pointed up, water flowing beneath lifted it toward the surface. Everything from the narrow knife-shaped cut water in the bow to the perfectly shaped three-blade propeller in the back uh, was all designed to move efficiently through the water. Not only is it stealthy, but it looks mean. Somebody put some style into it, and it looks like a war machine. The 40-foot sub held a crew of eight. The pilot looked out the forward conning tower through glass viewports to navigate. Using joysticks, he moved the dive planes and the rudder. To control buoyancy, the crew used pumps to fill or empty a ballast tank at each end of the sub. The propulsion system was simple, pure muscle power. Seven crewmen sat on a wooden bench and turned a crank that rotated the sub's propeller shaft. The submarine's interior diameter is less than four feet, so you are hunkered over and you are actuating this crank. How far are we now, Lieutenant? You're sweating, um, you're cramped, the humidity inside, you're in a sealed container. I can't imagine how uh, uncomfortable it must have been. Its power system was crude, but the Hunley was 50 years ahead of its time. The world would not see another successful combat submarine until the German U-boats of World War I. But like all pioneering warcraft, Steady course. the Hunley was not an easy machine to master. The Hunley was a relatively simple machine as far as to dive and surface, but it was also unforgiving. The problem, I think, with the Hunley is it had no room for pilot error. I mean, it functioned exactly how it was designed. Everything worked. But if you made a mistake, you being the operator, if you left a valve open too long and flooded a ballast tank too full, any sequence of events, um, I think you paid with your life.